Hey movie lovers, I'm Alan. And I'm Oliver. Welcome to Real Movie Grid. So today we're going to give you the full, spoiler-ridden review of Avengers Infinity War. So Avengers Infinity War, if you have not seen the movie, go ahead and click the i-card above to watch our no-spoilers review. Let's dive into it. Yeah. Hey, screenplay. well, uh, screenplay. Hey, this was 10 years in the making. Uh, I gave it a 4 in screenplay. The reason I gave it a 4 in screenplay, where um, it could easily not be a, a 4, and I'll explain that, is because there's very little dialogue written for any one major character, and there's very little plot advancement uh, written for most of the characters. There's one major character who, uh, uh, who I think they gave a lot of attention to, and that was Thanos. I thought they gave Thanos, the villain, the most screen time, which I think uh, was valuable in this attempt to wrap the entire cinematic universe together. Uh, they brought in dozens of people from all sorts of different backgrounds and they brought them together in one script um, and they had to squeeze that in into a two and a half hour movie and I thought they did a very good job in doing that and they advanced the story through the villain vice trying to use all the heroes. So. I have to – I partially agree with you. Yes, yeah. I, I think they advanced the story well through the villain. Um, I don't know that they needed – I wouldn't – it wouldn't have – they couldn't have written um, character development at all with the individual characters. We already have had we, – we're already told who they are. Most yeah. of them have origin stories. Um, and that's what those other movies are for. Yes, but we were bringing a lot of different people together that hadn't met. Mm -hmm. That's where the development should have been. Yeah. Um so because of that, it really just felt like a comedy to me. The the voices, mm -hmm. any of the dialogue, that's what – the rest – I mean, the things on screen weren't necessarily – I mean, they were superhero movie. They're comic book movie. Right. But the dialogue was just – it was just one-liner after one-liner. Even most of the stuff with Thanos. When Thanos was on screen with any person that was any superhero, then it was a one-liner. The only time there was development was <clears> – <throat> Whenever he was off, whenever he was off by himself, right. Um, uh, there, there's some stuff uh, between him and Gamora, uh, and then there was also a little bit of stuff between him and like Tony Stark. Uh, but that was that was really it. It was fleeting. Yeah. Again, trying to squeeze it all in, and I think they did a good job considering that this is supposed to be a culminating event. It's not a standalone movie that stands by itself. But it, it's not a culminating event. As we found out at the end. Well, yes. We'll get to that. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, <clears throat> pace timing. So I I hit them in this area also because I felt like, be, you know, because it was one-liners, because we were just saying, hey, this person's in this movie. Hey, this person's in this movie. Mm -hmm. We were moving really, really quick for a while. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, 65 75% of the movie, we were just, hey, here, this, here's this guy, here's this guy. Yep. And then, then we... <laughs> Hit the brakes real hard and slow it down. Um, so I, I, I know that you're gonna feel differently on that. But. I know. Um, I gave it a three. Okay. Uh, I thought that the movie's pace timing was really rushed, and there's no way that you can get beyond that. Like, so when you talk about screenplay and like the, the previous category, uh, I think they did a lot of hard work to make it work for everybody. When I talk about pace timing, I think there's probably better ways that they could have cut the scenes together and they could have slowed down the pace, uh, maybe less scenes to still make everybody fit together. So as far as screenplay, I gave them a four. Pace timing, I gave them just a flat average. I was like, eh, you guys yeah. did a job. Because I mean, most of all the, that's the first 75% of the movie, it was all action. Yep. Um, all right, moving on. Casting and performance. Um, <sighs> I think, you know, I, I gave him high marks here. This is a category I often give a lot of leeway for casting and performance. Yeah. Um, I, I stand by it, though. You know, we knew everyone. There wasn't really any new, one new cast. Right. Um, but everyone performed well, and they, yeah. you know, it's Hollywood, yeah. so there's a lot of egos. Yeah. So some, they could have had an issue a lot of times with, you know, in movies where they have really big casts, they have mm -hmm. an issue of people, you know, kind of bogarting other people's screen time. Right. Um, and I don't think that happened. I think everyone interacted well together. No. Um, hopefully that's a testament to Disney's willing to pay these actors. <laughs> like, hey, you know what? You're probably only going to get a few lines, but here's a lot of money. Please act well. Um, yeah. 
I, I, I gave it a four. Um, I thought everybody acted for the most part as well as they could. I had a couple of moments where, yeah, Chris Hemsworth as Thor, Zoe Saldana. Um, I wasn't quite sure what effect they were trying to create. Same thing with... Um, uh, I, I think it might be the writing, though. Um, yeah. Yeah, when Thor, when they first picked up Thor... It he was, was supposed to be unhinged, right? Was yeah. That, was, that, was, that, was that what that was? But he was acting like a child. Yeah, it was weird. Um, Agreed. Yeah, so that could have been the writing. That could have been the acting. Um, I don't know. For the most part, everybody else did a great job. Uh, you know, no Oscar performances here because nobody had the time to have given an Oscar performance. But, uh, you know, four. I gave it a four. Yeah. Sure. Um, cinematography. I gave it a three. Uh, I thought it was, again, it was better than a lot of action movies that come out but also worse than a lot of action movies that come out like there it wasn't it, it wasn't uh the russo's the russo director's best work so yeah i there was a couple times um earlier on in the movie where someone would be they'd be talking to someone and it was like the it was like the director came over and pushed the cameraman yeah like just slightly just just <laughs> Just so he would move over like an inch, yeah, and the camera would go up and down as they went over. The 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 one I can really think of where they did it a number of times was the fight in um in Scotland, yeah, where they first they were talking on the street and it, the camera like, and then they went into that train station and the same thing. Whenever people wouldn't get Captain America showed up. Yes, and, um, everybody, everybody applauded, and, and you didn't hear anything. Then they were talking. The bad guys were talking to him, and the, the camera was just like, uh, uh, uh. and mm. then they flipped over to Captain America and did the same thing. Yeah, it was really weird. But for the most part, I, you know, the camera work wasn't too busy. So, no. um, so the the, the 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 scene that makes me immediately think of like areas where it was very busy, but I don't know if there's any other way you could have done it, but. Maybe there is, and I'm I'm not the visual director. Uh, was like the fight in Wakanda. The fight in Wakanda. There was a lot going on, and there were times where it was like some of the really jump cutty type fight scenes. I don't know if there's any other way you. But could I, have done I, that. I I like that but, better than the fight in Wakanda in the Black Panther, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of oh, what I well, compare that to because in the Black Panther they were it was like all right hey guys we're gonna do this in one cut so I'm just gonna spin the camera around in circles and whatever I catch is whatever I catch agreed and this was like Absolutely. all right like these people were fighting this way I mean they had what 24 characters to, to yeah to show us how they're fighting so like they did a good job of like hey like these guys from next to like what's up buddy bam yeah and then they then they cut over to the next guy and I or girl. Yep. Um, I, I thought that was a lot better. Um, the you're right, and but you're right because the cinematography in Black Panther was not good at all. It was very bad. Um, I will say that the strength of their cinematography and it affects my wow factor was that any time that they had to give a fan service moment, like just a big wow, like everybody celebrate because this character has showed up. Uh, they filmed that very cinematically like it looked very good absolutely and those are the things that i that i gave it an average yeah like any time like when captain america showed up the first time in that in the shadows and you only see a silhouette when thor comes back with uh stormbreaker the the axe and he like blows everybody up like that those types of things where they use the camera to good effect yeah really good i have a different problem with the whole thor thing but i don't know what category that fit into <laughs> well it's Good. Well, every time that the, the there, every time someone came into this movie, yeah. or every time there was a fight going on, it was whoever wasn't there was all of a sudden he was more power. Their powers were bigger yes. because they weren't there, and because all they, they showed up is like, bam. This fight's gonna take thirty minutes, and this one guy comes and does it all. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. He's a god. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what category to fit that into. Let's move on to uh, design and costume. Five. So you yeah. gave it a five as well? I gave it a four. A four? Okay. Um, yeah, I, there is, for me, I mean, I, I think it was pretty good. I probably could move it up another. another. Sure. Um, yeah. I, I think Thanos looked like rubber to me, and he was the really the only thing I don't think was done very well. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the giant uh, Iron Man armor 
was a little weird on the CGI. But for the most part, we're just nitpicking because they yeah. because that whole movie was CGI and they still managed to make especially it look when good the helmet the was part. off of the giant armor man because yeah. um like his face was behind yeah. some of the workings and that was kind of blurry. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I gave it a four. There's there a few things that I just I didn't like, but I mean. There's a lot of CGI in this, and they did well. And then the costuming, I mean... Costuming is great. Yeah, we had the cost, we had the Wakandan costuming from before. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, they, they look cool. Mm-hmm. And then, um, you know, we had the... We had the... The dwarf planet. <laughs> like, it was pretty cool. And I, I think the design, the, the, the trickery they did there was pretty neat with... Uh, yeah. Terry and the giant with, dwarf? With, with Terry and the oh, giant dwarf. Oh, he's gonna dwarf. be so yeah, mad exactly. if, if he ever watches our video. <laughs> And he's be like, my name's not Tyrion. <laughs> well, that's how we remember you. Yeah. Or uh, or or uh, big uh, Santa Claus movie with Will Ferrell. He's the writer. Never Is mind. It? We digress. Wow. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought the design. I mean, you know, the the hair and makeup was all good. Like it, the bad guy her. Her makeup for her horns coming out of her forehead. We mm-hmm. saw it, a lot of close ups of that, and I, you know, I believe they were coming out of her head. They looked good. Yeah. So. Um. Next, audio. You gave it a three. I yeah. Gave it average. Well, the stuff in Wakanda was good because it was, you know, it told us we were in Wakanda. Yeah. Um, and then the stuff with the Guardians of the Galaxy folk was good. Yep. Because. It was fun old music that you could sing along to. Right. So like they had their iconic sounds. Yes, those people did. But I gave this a two because I think most of the audio in this movie, most of the music in this movie, was Star Wars music. <laughs> okay. And it bothered me. And it started out like that. We saw a Star Wars trailer right before it, and then yeah. it started out in space with Star Wars music, and I was I was momentarily confused. You think <laughs> like at a certain moment, like a. Uh... Disney just decided to just bring all their uh, in-house folks from one set to the other, and <laughs> I, th- I think that might have been what it was. Um, but and then the fighting, a lot of the they didn't know what to focus on with um, with the sound effects. So we had uh, what's his face with the the robot arm or the metal arm, the Wakandan arm. Um, Bucky Barnes. Yeah, soldier. Bucky yeah. Barnes. He's firing away. There, there's this big battle going on, and there's there's stuff going on all over the place, and he's firing away with his Soviet-style assault rifle, mm-hmm. and you can't even hear the gun firing, but we're focused on him. Right. There was a lot of sounds that were not... Wow, that's a good point. The, you didn't catch that. Yeah. Th- that was the one that... Because like, like we zoomed in on him, yeah. and he's firing away, firing away, and then we go over to his shoulder, he's firing away some more... And we never, we might hear like, but other than that, like we hear like pshaw, lasers going off far away. Um, and there was other sounds like that in the movie that they just didn't add up. Whenever they, we went to the train station, mm-hmm. they cra- everybody crashed through the roof. Then the bad guys came and crashed through the roof. Mm-hmm. We didn't hear any breaking glass. They broke through a giant gra- glass pane. So um, it, it immediately makes me think of like uh, big war movies. Yeah, like any, th- any movie about like World War II, like that's done well. They do the sound really well in that regard, where like you're focused on a dude and he's in the trenches and he pulls up. There's gunfire all around, but they mute that sound down, and then they they focus on him shooting. So that way you can use the sound to identify who you're you're paying attention to. Yeah. That's that's a really good point. I didn't even think about that, but yeah. Uh, overall, I gave it an average because they gave some of the iconic sounds. But again, what I've hit Marvel movies on from before was a lack of iconic sounds in many of their other characters. So, I mean, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, and no one said pow when they punched someone, you know? Uh, I know, man. We just need that. We, otherwise, how could we tell it's from a comic book? Exactly. Okay. <laughs> um, wow. Satisfaction. I gave it a five. Uh, for me, as a comic book fan and who's seen all of the movies... Uh, I remember 10 years ago when I went with all my friends to see that first Iron Man movie not knowing what to expect and immediately falling in love with that. Um, By the way, that Iron Man movie was not the first uh, movie that Disney MCU released. Uh, It was that Thor, I'm sorry, uh, the Hulk movie with Edward Norton. That doesn't count. It, but it's no, it's it definitely counts no. it's with it. Bull, they redid it. They redid the movie. No, it's absolutely part of the part no, of. No, it's the, not because yeah. they redid it. They have no. A they haven't done 
uh, a new Hulk they, movie. They re- okay, they redid Hulk. Yes, they redid Hulk. They st- They didn't redo a Hulk movie because all of the Hulk movies previously had failed because yeah. they haven't used Lou Ferrigno. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, it's not, it doesn't count. It's definitely in, they don't talk about it, but it's definitely in this universe of things that happened. They don't talk they, about they, it because it's like... They changed the character, they changed the guy who plays him. All right, we're on a tangent. Anyway, uh, ever since watching that Iron Man movie... Um, I the was first like, one. The first one. Yeah. The very, very first one. I was first like, Marvel hey, you know what? Maybe. Hey, uh, I'm in. Uh, you know, sh- continue to show me what you got. And there's been good, great movies, uh, Winter Soldier, and there have been n- very bad movies uh, like Thor The Dark World. But, I mean, we're here. We made it 10 years. So, <laughs> I, I, I really appreciated them being able to pull it all together. Um, I, I have... A completely different score. I have a two for the yeah. wow. Um, if you would have, come, if I wouldn't have gone with you last night, and you would have come in to work this morning and be yeah. like, "Hey, half of everyone dies," I'd be like, "All right, cool. They're probably gonna go the next one. They're probably gonna restart yes. everything." Yeah, okay. I didn't need to watch this one then because yeah. it made like it was it was basically it was just a comedy with superheroes. And I keep going back Fair to enough. that, but in the end, after we erase half the people, and we know that there's a time stone, and we're gonna go backwards and do it. Like mm. we know, yeah, but they don't have the time stone right now. But Thanos has it. Yes, Thanos has to, everything right we're now. We're gonna have to grind to go get the, the the stone. But this movie was basically pointless. It was like when they, it was like when it was like all of the X Men before before they erased all of the things that happened in the X Men. Yes, I will say though, it was a better movie than that one. It, absolutely, yeah, because that movie was awful. But uh. <laughs> um, it it was in the end, it was pointless. So my wow was pretty low. Okay, um, I would argue that given within this particular film, obviously, yes, we know that they're going to have to fix this somehow. Otherwise, they just, well, I don't know, maybe they just want to kill off half their properties and start over. Well, uh, we know that we know <laughs> they are because if they were going to do, if they were going to kill people off, then um, Tony Stark would be dead because we right, know that his, he wants to retire. Yeah, exactly. From this, and we also know same that with Captain America wants to retire because I, I do right. remember reading that he said he wants to stop acting when he's done being Captain America. So, right. well, and there, and there's also a couple of characters that they know where we have a strong suspicion that they're going to make films for. Uh, we know that they're probably going to make another Black Panther movie. Absolutely, we know that they're probably going to yeah. make another Doctor Strange movie because those were both good movies. So if they're both gonna, mm. if they're going to make both of those uh, movies again. Uh, with sequels, they need those characters alive. Yeah. So, um, I will say it th- like this though. Uh, obviously, we're in a new point in time. Where, you know, we're in 2018. We're not in the, the 70s anymore. But when Wait, we have never been in the 70s. Well, that's right. It's a fair point. Uh, when when they encased Han Solo in crypt uh, in the Kryptonian uh, carbonite carbonite yeah. Uh, that was like Samsonite. a big, yeah, that was a big that was a big moment, and it was a moment where they were willing to say, "This is the movie we're going to give you." Obviously, you can look to the future and be like, "Okay, they're going to fix this." But given that this is the movie that they gave us, they were willing to pull the trigger and kill everybody. That, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, I did enjoy that, and when that was happening, that was all, that was all very exciting. Yeah, I mean. The, it, we hated the fact that the crowd was applauding for no reason. Uh, I will say I loved the crowd's response when they killed everybody and they ended yeah, the movie. When the Black Panther went away, there's a lady that stood up next to me and said she's done and left. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I mean, I believe it. I um, believe it. But like when people started dying and like legit, like Thanos won, like Thanos just won, and and then they ended the movie and with the with the credits, uh, the crowd in in the ro- the room was like. What the, what yes, that that was all awesome, and you know you're you're convincing me to move up my wow sum, yeah. <laughs> but I can't grade the whole movie on that. Like, yes, sure. that was very awesome. Yeah, but when you boil it down, I think that's what, and that's fair, and that's fair. Uh, a lot of my other wow numbers come from the fact that I just enjoyed seeing all the characters together for the first time together. Yeah, but they yeah yeah. All right. Lastly, comic book score. I, I call it comic book slash comedy, like yes. I've said several times. Yeah. Um, I, I gave it a five here. Okay. Um, you know, I I think you get to you got to see your favorite comic book characters doing their their comic mm-hmm. book deeds, and you got um, 
you got the the jokes that you wanted out of each of the each of the people. So I think you're covered. Um, I mean, everybody likes Tony Stark being a smartass. Yep. Um, everybody likes Spider Man accidentally insulting people. Yep. Um, which was which was definitely great. He definitely um, was pulling all those like little friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Yeah, lines. yeah. Exactly. And you know, you had Chris Pratt puffing his chest up, pretending to be something that he's not. <laughs> like I think all of those things that they were they were done well. Yeah. Um, with the exception of, you know, that scene where Thor was weird. It's funny you think about ridiculous. it. Uh, you rating it as a comic book comedy, um, I definitely laughed in this movie more than I've laughed in some comedies. Some, oh yeah. Well, actually, I definitely laughed in this more than I laughed in uh, I Feel Pretty. Which I saw the day before, so I, I think in this, and I think it absolutely was, and I think that's, I think the comedy, the slash comedy, mm -hmm. is what Marvel has over DC. Yeah, definitely, they have character. They they have the ability to actually use emotions by just this one flat line of like we are fighting bad people, like yeah. agreed. Yeah. So, I, I that's that's why I give it the the categories that it has, and I think they did well in both those categories. Yeah. So. Uh, Tell us what you think. Uh, join in the conversation below. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, find us on Facebook and Twitter, and join in the comments below. And let us know what you think on how we can improve the real movie grade system. What are you, an auctioneer? Hey, don't forget to watch the playlist to my left. What is real movie grade? It's going to help you better understand the real movie grade system.